Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Fulton Street Beats. Today's video is a sponsored video, and it's sponsored by a company called Van Goa. And Van Goa makes a variety of different musical instruments, um, really a lot of cool guitars. And um, I was skeptical. So they reached out to me and asked me to check out one of their guitars, which, well, I kind of did. And um, I'm pretty impressed with the guitar. I got to tell you, now I was going to do an initial unboxing, but I'm not doing the unboxing. That's because I've already unboxed it. And that's because when the box arrived, UPS destroyed the box. It was horrible. The contents inside the big box, however, were fine, although UPS lost an amplifier out of the box. Now, this is not the company. It was packaged well. This was UPS. So we'll see what is done about that. But we have the guitar here. And the guitar comes in its own separate box inside of this box, which was perfect condition. Um, so just 100% disclosure, I like to tell you guys every little tidbit of information and make sure that you know everything that's going on. So here's the thing. If you haven't played a three-quarter size acoustic guitar, you don't know what you're missing. They're very easy to play, and they're very comfortable, um, even over a big, thick, uh, full-size acoustic guitar. I'm not a big acoustic guitar fan, but when I do want to play an acoustic guitar, I don't like the big jumbo guitars. I don't like to reach over them, and that's because I'm more used to the ergonomics of a, well, an electric guitar, because that's pretty much all we do here is electric guitars, usually. But after seeing this guitar, I had to... I, well, I kind of felt compelled to share it with you. And I, like I said, I usually don't do sponsored reviews, but they did send this to me for review. But I'm still going to give you my honest opinions and shortcomings, because there might be a couple, on this guitar. But if you're a beginner starting out, this guitar may be for you. And if you're not a beginner, this guitar may be for you, because, well, it's of exceptional quality. Now, some of the things we're about to check out on this guitar... I haven't even seen yet, so keep that in mind. I haven't looked at the accessories, anything like that. I just basically wanted to make sure the guitar was okay after a UPS did their job on it. And I'm going to leave links to this guitar in the description below. And there's not many of these left, so if you want one, I suggest you go get one. I'll leave an affiliate link below to Amazon. And right now, I believe there is a $10 off coupon. And I'm going to tell you what the price of these guitars are right now before we even get started. They're $169 and 98 cents and 10 bucks off of that and you're getting a lot for the money now that's not the price with an amplifier or nothing this is this this is the acoustic guitar but it's not just any acoustic guitar it is an acoustic electric so yeah uh 169.98 10 dollars off for an acoustic electric shipped to your door with a bunch of accessories and the guitar comes, and let's get this out of the way first, in this really nice, really well-padded gig bag um, guitar case. Um, super, super nice. The zipper in the front. Um, one of the better cases. It's a stiff case because, well, it needs to protect. But when we open up this case, and these are all the things that we want. when we're, we, we want protection for especially an acoustic guitar. Now, let's open this up, and we're gonna, I'm going to show you exactly. Now, this case here, the guitar actually straps in and has a neck brace which is fantastic and simply undo this and we'll reveal this guitar now, i've left the tags on it so what you're seeing is pretty much the guitar exactly how i received it minus a couple tweaks now it does have really very nice sounding guitar now i don't have this rigged for sound right now so bear with me However, it is a very nice guitar. The first thing I noticed about this guitar was, well, the looks and the quality of it when I first pulled it out of the box. Now, I'll give you guys a peek at this guitar. Now, this has a, this is a spruce top guitar, a real good resonant wood where resonance matters on acoustic guitars because basically an acoustic guitar, is, as you all know, is an air pump. And that's where we need resonant woods is in an air pump where it's actually the wood is moving and vibrating, um, creating a frequency. And that's where it matters. Now, this the electronics on this also work. And this comes with a built-in tuner, and it does come with a battery. And I don't know if it's in tune. We got, where's in tune? I already tuned it up. But we're, everything's pretty much in tune here. So... Okay. 
it sings, it hums really nice. And now it's got a cut little cutaway design, which you guys might find favorable. And I don't think it's too small of a guitar. I think it sits on the, the, the lap nice, nice here between the legs like this. And everything is nice to get to. Super cool guitar. I really like it. Now, the electronics on this work great. I have ran this through the DAW. We're going to give a demonstration of this guitar later on. But I wanted to get this out to you. What is outstanding? Look at the back of this guitar. Very, very nice quality guitar. I wasn't expecting the quality. It's got some detail on the fretboard. And as you can see, we have that nice V. It's very glossy um, on the edge. It's, it is a glossy neck, glossy body. Really cool looking. Now, when I got it, 100% transparency, um, it needed a little bit of setup, but nothing major. It needed a little tweak of the truss rod, which is right down here. And your pump hole right in here, okay? And comes with a tool. I just had to give it a little tweak just to bring the action down where it was more comfortable for me. I am used to, keep in mind, I'm used to an electric guitar action of like one millimeter, 1.2 millimeters. So, but I got this low, so articulate, and um, low with no buzz, just a little tweak. So everything really, we're going to be honest, was set up nice out of the box. I just, well, set it for me. The nut is cut very nicely. Everything works. And it's got their own special branded tuners on it. It does have a quality control sticker on the back and it is a gorgeous gorgeous guitar but let me set this guitar to the side here for just a second because we're going to take a look at actually what you get also with this guitar because it comes with this nice little van goa bag and um it's a nice even a nice bag it's, it's quality it's not junk it's not what you would expect to see and i haven't dug in here yet so let's get in here and see exactly what we got so we have some strings and they are a 28 uh let's see no they're 11 to 52 they're an 11 to 52 pack of strings extra that you get here and those strings that are on it sound really good we have a professional capo on here let's open that up let's check out the capo let's see oh nice aluminum heavy duty nice aluminum strong capo van goa labeled right on here we'll get you in there very nice capo. Very cool. See, these are the things that will add up. Little things like you had to go in and buy these stuff. You're going to set of strings, the capo. You know, um, usually you would get junk with stuff like this. So far, so good. But what do we have here? What? Oh, we have a nice cleaning rag. Microfiber Van Gogh rag. Not cheap junk rag either. You can tell it's a nice rag. Now, I haven't looked at any of this stuff. We also have an owner's manual. Now, let's see that is printed in good English. So another plus, it's actually a very, and they, they're giving you, they're telling you how to adjust your neck and your truss rod. Everything is wow, very cool. Action adjustment, the electronics, how to work your electronics, your control instructions, very cool. So a detailed owner's manual to boot. So for beginners, that's probably something that's very important. And, a pick guard for the guitar, a scratch plate. Um, and it's just a stick on scratch plate if you want a scratch plate on your guitar, which I think I'm gonna do because I like them. Um, I think they look good. Maybe we'll stick that on in a second. And it comes with a cable. Now let's check out this cable. This seems a little heavier than most, so we're gonna take a peek at it. Normally we wouldn't, we just toss these to the side. Yeah, this is definitely a heavier cable than you get with most budget guitars. It's thicker, it's heavier, so obviously better quality than most. And then what else do we have in here? We have a guitar strap. Now, you guys watch this video. No, we just unboxed a Gibson SG that had the world's worst guitar strap that came with it, almost an embarrassment. <laughs> and um, it was very embarrassing. Now this is a decent quality nylon strap this is not a bad quality nylon strap this is actually 10 times better than the one that came with the gibson so keep that in mind labeled van goa so basically you're getting almost everything that you need to play this guitar now there was an amp keep in mind ups lost it so then we have a pack of picks van goa labeled picks uh 
let's check those out. Let me pull these out here. Let's look at, I'm a, I'm, I'm a pick fan. So, and I don't have any really picks that I use for acoustic guitars in the studio. Everything's for electric. So kind of need these nice, light, flexible pick. And that's what you want with an acoustic guitar because you want to, you really want to make those st strings sing. These are a 0 0.71 millimeter pick. So you get four of those and packaged, not loose, but a nice presentation, a nice presentation. So Van Gogh, you're doing it right for sure. Like I said, nice bag. And what do we have here? I believe we have a tuner. Yes, we have a clip on tuner. So not only do we have one on built into the guitar itself, we also have a tuner right here. And guys, I love these tuners. These are my favorite. I love these tuners. I have one over here that I've been using forever. Now, I don't know. There's probably not a battery in it. No, there is no bad. There is a battery that comes with it, guys, though. There is a battery that comes with the tuner. This is a first that I've seen with these tuners. Um, so, okay, okay. There we go. Let's give it a shot and see if it is. Um, so we got guitar, bass, violin, alternate tunings. Very cool. So let's just uh, set it up for guitar real quick here. We'll pop it on our neck. Let's see if we can get her spot on. on. There we go. Okay. Very cool. We're getting a lot for the money, and I'm really digging this tuner. This is actually nicer than the tuner that I've been using, um, well, for a long time, a couple years, actually. So what do you think about this guitar? Three-quarter size at $169.98 with 10 bucks off. You can't beat it. You can't beat it. The finish alone is... I've been over this guitar. So I cheated. I looked at this guitar before I did this video because... I wanted to make sure that if I was doing a sponsored video that you guys would be happy with it um, because I can't recommend products. I just can't recommend products that uh, are not good. And this is very, very, very professionally done. And looks wise, it looked like it would cost a lot more than what you're paying for this guitar. Um, the frets are perfect on it, by the way. There's no leveling needed. They are not those horrible frets. Or, or sharp frets that you see on cheap guitars. These frets are done nicely. And quite frankly, it is really, really good to play. It's very nice to play. So great playing guitar, great looking guitar. What more can you want for the money? But let's put the pit guard on and let's see exactly what it looks like. Why not? That's what we're here for, is to make you happy. Guys, if you haven't already, hit that like button, share, subscribe if you like cool new products. And 
listen, if you are a vendor out there, you are a manufacturer, and you're looking to have something for an honest review, and I'm talking an honest, a brutally honest review, because that's all we will do here, just be forewarned. If you are afraid of a review, probably not the channel to send your stuff to, because um, I want companies that um, back their products, if you will. And even a lot of big, big companies get very, very, very... Um, angry at bad reviews well i guess it keeps them on their toes so i'm going to line this up with the outer circle i think that that looks fantastic easy peasy lemon squeezy yeah good looking guitar right now we got a scratch plate on there looks fantastic i imagine it would come off with a little heat if you needed to take it off but went on there very easily i do like this cutaway design very comfortable guitar very thin guitar, not uh, not thick at all, but nice resonance, nice nice wood used. Let's see what they say here. Um, they consider this an entry level guitar, but it's like I said, it's quality. It's going to be perfect. You could gig out out play out little small bars, small venues with this guitar, no problem. Um, I don't see any problem with that. Three quarter size, and they call this uh they're calling this an orchestra model, producing bright and clear. Sound. It's got a two-band EQ with uh, bass and treble. Um, yes, I'm cheating off the cheat sheet over here. I apologize. Um, but that sometimes it's hard to remember everything. And uh, we can, of course, plug this into a mixer, preamp, whatever you need to do. Um, and it's a, it, is, it is a nice guitar. It has nice strings. Very articulate. If you want to jam on it, then um, it works fine. If you want to have that light touch, it's... Beautiful sounding guitar. I like it. I'm probably going to be doing some recording with this guitar because it's cool. Usually I'd get something like this in the studio and I'd be like, ah, it's going to sit over here. But I think we're going to have some fun with this guitar. And they make all kinds of guitars, 12 strings, you name it. I suggest you go to Amazon, check out the link below, check them out and see exactly what they got because they offer a lot for the money. Van Gogh, guys, I think it's a name that you might want to remember because if, they, if they're producing this kind of stuff right out of the gate, boom, I can imagine they're going to get better and better and better at what they do. And do I have any complaints with this guitar? Honestly, the only complaint I had was UPS losing an amplifier because this guitar actually came in the bottom of the box. There was a wireless um, antenna that must have went to the amplifier. So Van Gogh, if you're watching, I did not get that. I'm going to show a picture of that box in this video too. Um, Van Gogh, stick around to the outtakes at the end. You'll see how it came in the door. Very disappointing but UPS, but um, but this company and this guitar is fantastic. So keep that in mind. But yeah, who knows what the amp would have been like? Now I didn't. I think the amp was just an add-on they threw in there. But box destroyed, guys. Amp missing. I didn't realize. It's funny. I didn't realize that anything was missing. I thought, well, there's a guitar. Until I looked inside and said, what is this package with a wireless um, antenna? And another and a power cable. Oh, it's to the amplifier that was not in there. So, not that that's going to happen yet, guys. You know how it is with shipping. FedEx, UPS, you name it. Sometimes they're good, sometimes they're bad. Extremely bad on this one. But Van Goa, I appreciate you sending this over. Yes, this definitely gets five stars in my book. I see nothing wrong with this guitar out of the box. I just had to set action a little bit, which is in the instruction manual if you don't know how to do that. Um, very quality guitar, nice resonant woods, nice tone, nice sound, nice strings, nice setup, nice nut, holds tune, and looks above all beautiful and perfect for the beginner, perfect for the experienced player. Thanks for watching Full Street Beats. Hit that like button, share, subscribe, and as always, remember it is rock and roll that makes the world do that twirly thing. Peace, guys.